rolling the shoulders back. Crown of the head guides up towards your sky as the sit bones root down deep into the earth. Feeling the heartbeat under the left hand as it connects to the rise and fall of the belly under the right. Connected by the breath. As we move through our practice today, I'm going to invite us all to connect to our bodies as we heat with the flow of the movement. We're going to build strength. And as we build strength in our bodies, we build strength in our minds. And as we build the strength in our minds, we create hope. Right? I think right now we can all agree that we need a little extra hope. that we are we are okay that we are cared for that we are supported and that we're all going to come out of this stronger more aware more connected gently placing the hands on the knees if they were on the chest and on the belly Roll those shoulders three times, big shoulder rolls backwards, and then forwards. Lift the arms up into the sky. On the inhale, bring the palms together. On the exhale, bring your hands into heart center, into prayer, and then gently bring your or blink your eyes open. Welcome to your room, welcome to your practice. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale arms come down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms come down. We're opening up our chest, opening up our respiratory system, the lungs. Inhale, warming up the body here. Exhale, one more time. Inhale, rise and exhale. So a few new people join us. Welcome. To start off wherever you are. Take a moment for yourself and then join. Beautiful. Place the hands on the knees. We're going to bring the hands, palms face down. We're going to use the leverage of the knees. So we're going to lift the chest forward. We're going to do a version here of cat and cow stretch. So lift the heart forward. Lead from the chest. And as we exhale, we're going to round the back. And we're going to use the resistance of the hands on the knees. As we tilt the pelvis slightly forward and gaze down towards our ankles. Inhale. Shoulders back. Chest forward. Belly in. Gaze, gaze up towards your sky. Exhale. Round the back. Chin tucks in. Beautiful. Inhale. We'll do that three more times just like this. And then we're going to add on and create or and add a little bit of creativity to it. A little bit more movement and fluidity. Inhale. Lift up. Really guide that chest forward. Exhale. Round the back. Gaze towards those ankles. Stretch out those shoulder blades. One more. Inhale. Forward. And then exhale, round the back. Pull that belly button in towards your spine. Inhale, come forward. And as you exhale, we're gonna roll over to the right and then come back into that cat stretch with the back, rounding the back. As you roll through center over to the left and then through center once again with the chest forward. So finding a circular motion here. Moving at your breath pace. Just lubricating that spine. And then as you come through center forward, we're going to rewind and move in the opposite direction. Just to create some balance here. We want to make sure that we walk off our mat when we're finished. We're, we're balanced and we're even. And then one more big circle, lead the chest forward over to your left, round it back, 
over to the right, come forward, and then find your way into your center position. Inhale, reach the arms up. We're going to do a nice little twist here so that pizza kickstand right at the base of the spine, left hand using the resistance right on that thigh, lift up, exhale, twist. Pulling the belly button in towards the spine with the exhale, gaze past that right shoulder. And then inhale up through center, exhale, twist over to your left. Fingertips right at the base of the spine. Use the resistance and leverage you have from the right hand on that left thigh. Beautiful. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Arms down. We're going to roll up onto all fours. Just for a hot minute here. Quick second. And we're going to just, just to find our placement with our hands. So fingers are spread nice and wide. That index knuckle is always flat on your mat. Toes are plugged in towards your mat. Belly draws in. Shoulders roll away from the ears as we lift the seat up and back. And find our way into downward facing dog. Now keep the knees soft here because this is our first downward facing dog of the practice. So we're just going to rock the hips from side to side. Maybe pedal out the heels. Walk out your dog. Shake the head out, no. And then maybe yes to surrender. Three more breaths here in your downward facing dog. Hips get a little bit higher. Maybe the knees start to straighten a little bit more and those heels start to guide a little bit closer towards the floor or towards your mat. Last deep inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Bring the knees onto the mat. We're going to shift the weight forward. Or actually, wait. First, so preface with this. This is where we're going to start to build some of that heat. So we're going to move into some cat push-ups, some chaturanga push-ups. So we're going to shift the weight forward, and you want to squeeze the elbows in towards that torso. We're going to come down and come back up. Okay, so we're going to do 10 together. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, squeeze the, sh squeeze the elbows together. Come down. Push yourself back up. All fours. Inhale, forward for two. Squeeze. And back. For three. I'm doing them with you. And just know that if you only can come halfway today, come halfway. That's four. Because it's better to come halfway than to do this. Come all the way down, and then it kind of looks like some weird, strange struggle. It's not what we're going for. Shift the weight forward, squeeze the elbows halfway, or all the way, yogi's choice. Find your edge. Six. I think that was six. If I gave you an extra, or took one away. Seven. Eight. Feeling a little bit of heat. Finding that strength. Two more. You can do them. If you've been doing full and need to do half, do half. If you've been doing half and you feel like you can do a full for this last one, do a full. Last one. Ten. Nice work. Tops of the feet on the mat. Stretch it out. Find your child's pose. Forehead to your mat. Breathe here. Option to keep the thighs and knees together or you can open up and sit back. Three breaths. And then slowly walk the hands over to your left as you slide the seat off of the heels, creating a little C curve here in the right side body, stretching it out. Lengthening here. And then walk your hands back to center, over to the right side. Slide your seat off the left heel. Find that C curve in the left side body this time. So you almost want to see if you can bring those left fingers further than the right fingers. That's the intention that we're setting. 
and then walk it back to center. Come up onto all fours, plug the toes into the mat, seat up nice and high, downward facing dog. Just a little stretch here for fun. Lift the right leg up. You want to keep the hips parallel to your mat. So we're not opening up. We're keeping the hips square to the mat. Lift that right leg up as high as you can. Reach, reach, reach. Three-legged dog here. And then place that foot back on the mat. Opposite side. Lift the left leg up. Keep those hips square to your mat. Draw that right heel down towards your floor. Reach, reach, reach with that left big toe. And then place that foot back on your mat. Come up nice and high onto the tippy toes. Bend the knees and walk yourself forward towards the hands. Inhale, look up. Half back stretch. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Crown of the head down towards your mat. Give your head a shake. No. And then yes to surrender, loosening up the neck and the shoulders here. We're going to hang out here like a raggedy and doll. I'm just going to sway from side to side. So you want to keep the feet and the legs strong here. They're firmly rooted and planted in, in the mat, into your floor. And then the torso and the upper body is just, it's a fluid motion. We're just rocking from side to side. Shake out the head as you need voluminizing our hair and then come back to center take a breath inhale look up half back stretch ardus nasana remembering that we can place the hands on the shins or fingertips to the mat shoulders roll back here away from the ears that spine is long from the tail through the crown of the head exhale fold Reach those arms up nice and wide. Lead from the chest and come all the way up into your Tadasana. Palms into your heart center. And release. So from here, we're going to do three vinyasa flows. And those are the only ones we're going to do for the whole practice. Okay? So inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up, half back stretch. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot back, then the left, or hop it if you can. Chaturanga, either come all the way down and do up, do your cobra, or come halfway, and then into upward facing dog. Difference between cobra and upward facing dog is that in cobra, the hips, the thighs, tops, the feet are on your mat. Upward facing dog, only the tops, the feet, and hands are on your mat. Okay, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale up onto the tippy toes, bend the knees, hop or step the feet forward, inhale, look up, half back, exhale, fold, inhale, come all the way up, palms together, and release two more, inhale, rise, exhale, fold, inhale, half back, exhale, fold, step it back, plank, chaturanga, outward facing dog or cobra, yogi's choice, exhale, downward facing dog. Tippy toes, bend the knees, hop or step. Inhale forward, exhale fold. Coming up nice and tall, palms together. <sighs> exhale, release, last one, inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, anybody else getting hot? I am, inhale, look up, half back. Exhale, fold, step it back, find that plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing dog, three breaths here. Nice work, guys. Beautiful. Maybe that seat. Every time, can it get a little bit higher? Can you pull the belly button in a little bit tighter? Are those heels drawing closer towards your floor? Breathe. Index knuckle is down. Beautiful. From here, we're going to lift the left leg up, bend the knee in towards the chest, and then place that foot right between the hands. We're moving right into it. Inhale, reach the arms up. Find your high lunge here. As we exhale, we're going to open. So here's where we're stacking the movements that we've done so far, right? That twist earlier today. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Twist to the other side. Inhale, we come up. Exhale, bend into it and open. Inhale up. Here's where we find that fire. Exhale, breathe. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale to your left. Inhale, 
two more each side of your breath pace. Beautiful, hold here, inhale up, hips square to the front of your mat, exhale, touch down, right foot meets the left, inhale, look up, half back, exhale, fold, step both feet back into your plank, chaturanga, rinse it out, inhale up, exhale, downward facing dog, three breaths, find your rest here, if you need to, if that downward facing dog doesn't feel like enough of a rest, child's pose. Yogi's choice. How are you guys feeling? Send me some hearts or something. Let me know you're still here. Hips up nice and high. This time you bring that right foot up. Bend the knee in towards the chest and place that right foot between the hands. Inhale, come up nice and high into your lunge. Exhale, open the chest to the left side of your room. Inhale up, exhale, bending deeper. Inhale, exhale, inhale up, exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale, inhale. Is anybody else sweating? Exhale, open. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, twist deeper than the last time. Two more each side. Last one on each side here. Maybe bending a little bit deeper for that last one. Twist as much as you can. Beautiful. Inhale, come up. Keep those hips forward. Exhale. Touch down, left foot meets the right. Inhale, come up, half back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees and roll all the way up. Coming back into your Tadasana here. I'm gonna check our time. I can't see with the sun. Okay, we're good. So we're gonna do a little balance before we come back down onto the mat. Balance out the heat that we just created. A little sweaty, I hope you guys are too. So we're gonna root down through the four corners of that left foot. We're gonna be nice and strong in that left leg. We're gonna come into our tree pose, nice and strong. So we're gonna place the inside of the right foot to the ankle, the calf, or maybe the thigh, wherever you are comfortable today. And we're gonna roll those shoulders back, really open up that chest to the sky. Wanna make sure we're not leaning into that left hip. No kids with attitudes in the schoolyard. We pull it in. We hug the muscles to the bone. Inhale, reach the arms up. Palms together. Holding either here in your heart center. If you want to spring or grow your branches out to the size of the palms nice and wide, that's an option. We just want to make sure that this foot is not on the knee. So it's either on the thigh, the calf, or the ankle. Beautiful. Two more breaths. If you sway from side to side, that's okay. Maybe there was a gust of wind. I don't know. Belly button draws in. Those rib cages wrap around the upper abdominals. Palms together. Heart center. Release. Shake it out. So we have another side. And as I promised at the beginning of class, I can't let you walk off the mat crooked or lopsided, right? We have to be even. So ground through the four corners of that right foot. Big toe mound, little toe mound, inside of the heel, outside of the heel. That left foot comes to the inside of the ankle, the calf, or the thigh. And maybe it's different on this side. Maybe you can go deeper. Maybe you have to pull back. That's okay. You won't be the same from one side to the other. Reach the arms up. Maybe those palms come into your heart center, into prayer. Maybe they stay up. Yogi's choice. Breathe. Hey girl, I see you. Beautiful. That driste, that gaze is just past the tip of the nose. And you want to find something, a focal point. Maybe it's on your floor or on your wall. That's a non-moving object or person in front of you. If you're in a small group, in your home. 
to find that balance. <sighs> Beautiful inhale, rise the arms all the way up. Exhale, release. <sighs> Shake it out. Beautiful. So we're going to come into a little Malasana squat here. So we're going to bring the feet hip width apart, and we're going to bring the arms up, kind of like Frankenstein arms, with palms tur turned face down towards your floor. Come up nice and high onto those tippy toes, and we're going to slowly begin to bend the knees, coming all the way down. And as soon as your seat is about to touch the heels, we're going to pop it all the way back up. Oh, hello, we're not finished with the fire. Exhale. All the way down, squeeze the muscles, wrap them around your bones, and as soon as the heels and the seat are about to touch, whoop, pop it back up. We've got one more coming all the way down. Feel the heat and the fire in the legs are creating that strength. When it ha happens when we create strength in the body, we create strength in the mind. Pop it, come all the way back up. Beautiful, last one, we're gonna come all the way down. I kinda lied, but what I meant was when you're not gonna pop up again, we're gonna turn the knees out slightly. Now typically you'd like for your heels to touch the floor. My calves are outrageously tight so they don't actually touch the floor. We're going to sit up nice and tall here. We're going to bring the elbows to the inside of those thighs, the inside of the knees. <sighs> Hands in prayer. Heart is open. If you need to sit on some books here or a cushion, you can. Breathe. Two more. Soften the face. Beautiful inhale. And then exhale. Hands to the floor. We're gonna bring the hands right behind our seat and we're gonna come all the way down onto into sorry onto our seats. And we're gonna bring the left foot in, right foot out. So we're just gonna stretch out the front of our bodies before we move into our Shavasana because half an hour just flies by so fast. So you want to point, the, I know you guys can't see, but point the right toes towards your floor. You're going to bring the left hand to the outs or right to the base of your seat. Right arm lifts up and over as you lift the hips up. Heart towards your sky. Exhale, come back down. We're going to reach up and over, maybe hooking the right fingers on the right toes. If it's available to you, if it's not available to you, hand on the inside of the leg, that works too, okay? Inhale, come all the way up, reach the chest forward, hips up nice and high, exhale, one more side body stretch here. Coming back up to center and switching out the legs. So right foot is in. Left leg is out, point the toes towards your floor. Right hand right behind your seat, fingers point outwards. Lift the seat, lift the chest, reach the arm up and back. Exhale, sit back down. Fold over, side body stretch. Inhale up, reach up and back. Exhale, come back to center, reach up and over. And then come back up through center. Bring the feet together. Flex the toes. Move the seat flesh out of the way. Lift up nice and tall. And then fold over, maybe grabbing onto the feet. You can grab onto the calves or the ankles outside of the feet. Wherever you are, find your edge here. And fold all the way down. You can have a little bit of roundness in your spine here. We're just relaxing, folding over. If it feels good to keep the feet flexed, flex them. If it feel good, feels good to point them, point them. Yogi's choice here. We're just lengthening out those back muscles and hamstrings here. Almost acting as a little hug between you and yourself. And then gently come all the way up. And we're going to roll back onto our mats. And we're going to bring the soles of the feet together. <laughs> bring the soles of the feet together in Supta Baddha Konasana with the knees open nice and wide.
slowly begin to deepen the breath. Bringing movement back into the body, maybe stretching out those legs now, wiggling out fingers and toes, circling out wrists and ankles. And then reaching the arms up overhead on the inhale. Nice, tall, long stretch, pointing the toes and bringing the big toes together to touch and kiss. Reach, reach, reach. And then exhale, rolling over onto your right side, squeezing your knees in towards your chest and just pausing for a moment here, allowing yourself to be that silent observer and just do a body scan, noticing how you feel without judgment here. It's just an observation. And then when you're ready, come up into a cross-legged seated position, sitting up nice and tall with shoulders rolled back, crown of the head towards the sky, seat rooted deep into your earth, bring the arms up overhead, palms together on the exhale into your heart center and placing a beautiful yogi smile on your lips, thanking yourself for committing to your practice this afternoon and sharing your energy as I thank each and every one of you for coming on and sharing your practice in this time, in this space, with me. And always remembering that wherever you are in your journey, on or off your mat, that you are always enough, as you are where you are, who you are, today and every single day. From my heart to each and every one of yours. Namaste. Thank you so much, guys. If, um... 12 o'clock um, is a weird time for you guys. You can definitely let me know if there are other times, um, even if you're somebody that's watching this back. Later, if there's a time that you can hop on live and you want to join us live that's better suited for you, let me know. If you're on your way back to work, have a great afternoon. If you're just starting your day, have a great day. Thank you all so much for being here. Love you lots. Ciao, bye.